hey what's up what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so if you have me on other social media platforms i actually posted that i would make this video about us answering all the questions that you ask me i wasn't sure if i should mention the names <laughs> so i'm just not gonna mention it because some questions are very tricky uh so i have my laptop here where i have all the questions and i'll be looking to answer hi balissa just subscribe to your youtube channel i'm studying education intermediate phase i would really like to teach abroad one day i just wanted to know if they will uh, allow me to go with my boyfriend to stay with me in korea he won't be teaching since he got no qualifications what you think guys come on if i'm telling you the requirements are to have a degree you specifically what makes you think okay you can bring a partner if you're married so if you have a husband or a wife yes you can come and not teach just live with your partner they understand that if you both are married but want to teach you will be placed in one apartment so you'll get a big apartment where you guys will be placed together because married people live together but you'll have different schools but friends and boyfriends and cousins you can apply together and they promise you the same area not even promise they say they'll try give you the same area so let's say if i applied with a friend or my boyfriend they'll prom or try to get us in jeju island but not like in the same city i mean it's already tough to get in korea for us we need uh, we apply for a visa a working visa so what visa is your boyfriend that doesn't have a qualification gonna be under so uh, as far as i know this is a no i know south africans can visit korea without a visa for 30 days so your boyfriend can visit you for a month hi balissa please shed more light on tax in south korea as well as sars okay so when you're a south african in korea you have two years your first two years you don't pay tax what you do you go to sars you hand in your your copy of your id as well as an application that you get at sars an application form it's called the rc01 you hand in that form and you fill in your contract dates how long you'll be in korea so for a year and you will be you won't pay tax yeah so it's called a tax ex exemption form and you'll get a certificate when you come to korea that certificate you give it to your school and they do the rest and i know a south african who didn't do that whole thing and she's paying fifty thousand won of tax which is 500 rand um, but she's unbothered because unemali, unemali, you know? Okay, what should I be able to expect? Um, you're gonna hear this a lot. And I was annoyed when I heard it. I'm sure everyone who's in Korea heard this phrase. It depends. It really depends. All my friends that I have, we all have different situations. Even if you all teach elementary in the same area, each school is different i can't even tell you what to expect because it depends on your co-teacher depends on your school depends on your students so what can you expect expect the unexpected anything is possible don't have too many expectations don't go on let's say watching my videos and then assuming when you go to your school that's the type of food you're gonna eat like it just depends why is there tissues next to the basket at the toilet okay so the plumbing <laughs> system in korea is not as advanced as the rest of the world so some some most of like my schools or probably one school is advanced so that one school they you, the, the toilets are capable of flushing tissues without blocking but if not then you have to throw your tissues in that basket so whether you're doing number one or two you wipe and you and you throw <laughs> it sounds disgusting it is sometimes you walk in a bathroom and the basket is full of tissues with number ones and number twos you can imagine the smell so the toilets are only capable of flushing um yeah 
everything else but the tissue how do you send money back home okay people are mostly concerned about this it's very easy so what you do is you open a bank account here in south korea obviously because that's where your school will be paying you straight into your korean account and then in the bank accounts i recommend for south africa south africans to open their banks with keb they have like proper exchange rates so other banks change from korean to usd from usd to rand the interest rates is going to be more, much more expensive whereas with keb it changes directly from the korean one to the south african rand so it's pretty cheap it's good and in that remittance account you basically set one account you're allowed to set up one account which is good you can set your one south african account so like i have standard bank people have capital whatever as soon as you send money from your korean account to your south african south african account it goes like almost immediately or it takes like a few hours and from your south african account so like i have my bank standard bank app here yeah, then i can send money to different people i can send money to my mom to my dad whatever so yeah it's pretty easy and very cheap obviously also standard bank and south africa south african banks charge you as well for the whole exchange rate things but it's like 150 rand 200 rand depends on each bank i know capitec they pay they take 150 and i know epsa they take 180 per transaction so yeah it's pretty easy but maybe don't do it every month maybe do it every three months every six months so that you you save and where do you throw your letter when you are out and about on the streets in your bag <laughs> that's the thing like this country is so like we we need to recycle everything but there's no bins like it's hard to find a bin like everywhere even if you add like um a tourist attraction place they just don't have bins they don't have bins by the bus stop they don't have bins on the streets they don't have bins in the parks they don't have bins if you want bins it's like those big ones like downstairs in my apartment where everyone recycles it's hard so i just put it in my bag and then i come back home and i throw it here what are the essential korean terms we need to know uh i guess it depends on you what you want to know and how i don't know how much effort you put into learning the language i know annyeonghaseyo which is a greeting like I, I think it's San Bonan, like hello and come Samnida also thank you and that's it actually that's it and then now that I've been here for a while I'm actually picking up on a few words like Yongo Sang Sinim is English teacher so I can hear when they're talking about me all the time but I've noticed that I try to speak Korean and then they speak English to me so it's like okay yo ha uh, guys there's too many questions and i don't like my videos being long so i think this is it um if i didn't answer any of your questions and you really really want to know or if you didn't see me post this and you still have questions then make sure that you comment down below i'll answer all your questions i really respond to all your messages or comments because it's not like i have like 50 million subscribers right yeah but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace